summertime episode of Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. We're yeah. heading to a private property. It's a family member of ours. Uh, they've got a little over 100 acres, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Gorgeous looking land. Um, lots of animals, lots of critters running around. But they have about an acre sized pond that is aerated there's a windmill that turns sends air under the pond which releases it into the pond so the whole pond is aerated they put in this blue green dye color into the water absolutely gorgeous to look at they've uh they've had this pond for a few years and they stocked it with fish well the catfish have kind of taken over in a way they've gotten really big they're kind of crowding in on the bass and, and the crappie population. So we came down here the first time. Uh, it was right when COVID and stuff started and, and we were trying to find things to do outdoors. It was still really cold. We struck out. We didn't catch anything. Um, came back a second time. I had two catfish take my line and immediately snap the line. And I was running 10 pound test. So we went back home, I rigged up two poles with 40 pound test, and we came back down again. That night, I caught three catfish, and one of them was a beast. He was somewhere in the, I'd say, 15 pound neighborhood. Um, really, really good, considering that pond's only been there for a few years. So tonight, we're heading back. We've got plenty of bait, we've got an overcast sky. It's hot out, it's 87 degrees right now in this Missouri humidity, it feels like 110. But we're gonna endure, we've got about two and a half hours till dark. So by the time we get there, we'll have an hour and a half before dark, which is just about perfect to start trying to catfish. So everybody, stay tuned and uh, enjoy the show. All right, we just got out here to the pond. I've got two poles out chicken livers on both. Gonna see what that does. Boone's over here slaying some bluegill. See what you got going on over here. So many fish. I know. Look at them all chased it. one. You don't want to catch one? No, I don't want to catch one. There it goes. Watch. Same. See the line going out and out and out? Is that a cat? Probably. Take it, my friend. 
yummy, yummy chicken livers. What you gonna do, bruh? Dang it. Every time I set the pole down. Well, don't do that then. Hold on to it. Act like you're gonna set the pole down and then keep it in there. What in the devil? A bluegill on a catfish chicken liver treble hook. Look how fat he is. Because he's down there eating with the catfish. Did you get that on tape? Yeah. No. Yeah. The whole time I thought it was a catfish running with it. It was that stupid thing just swimming across the pond. So any of these top ones I can use? I'm making your butt work this year. Okay, one of my crotch, one of my hand. Shove your bait up on your hook. Thank you. 
No, it's just a little. Oh, it's... Holy crap, we're eating that baby. <laughs> we're eating that baby. <laughs> Watch that line, baby. Need to bring pantyhose next time. Pantyhose. I wonder if the cats are spawning yet. Another bluegill. Oh, and then we might catch them. Oh. <laughs> Cheaters. Cheaters never prosper. Not zombies, Boone. It's called a school of fish. There's a horde. Her lot of fish. Horde lotta. Hey, Steve. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, we're checking in. It's almost dark. No catfish yet. There's been about 15 or 20 bluegill caught between the three of us. Starting to cool off a little bit. I don't know. If we don't start getting some catfish here in a little bit, we'll probably leave. Tell what it is. I think it's another freaking bluegill. God dang it.
Where are the catfish? 